Hello YouTube, uh, Jordan here, Jordy Spaceman. Uh, welcome to Thursday evening in uh, April. It's a beautiful day, it's starting to turn to spring. It's starting to get beautiful outside and I was driven to make this video tonight. A couple things have happened. I've picked up some, some new records that I want to share with you, give you a little vinyl update, um, etc. Okay. Uh, for, first of all, the, the vinyl update, uh, you know, if you've been following my vinyl unboxings uh, from VNYL, uh, you would have noticed that I haven't made one this month yet. And the reason for that is that they told me that I didn't put a vibe in. If you remember the whole vinyl thing, we talked about it in previous videos, you can, you can watch them. Um, this month, no, no shipment, and there isn't going to be a shipment because they said I didn't pick a vibe. So rather than get into an argument with them about, I did pick a vibe, I have the, I don't have the email, but I have, I remember doing it and pushing the button and it's saying, oh, you picked so-and-so. Um, regardless, uh, there won't be a shipment and instead of that, they gave me a credit. Uh, they also charged me another $99 for a three month membership because they said I didn't cancel properly. That was a whole thing. I'll give you the whole story later. Um, suffice to say, there isn't going to be a vinyl unboxing this month. Um, there will instead be some records arriving that I have chosen myself from the vinyl store. Uh, so a complete review and a complete recap compilation video will be later, probably in, in about two weeks. Okay. So um, sorry about that. I, I was kind of excited to get my last box, but um, it's probably better off than I didn't uh, after the experience I've had with the first two. Anyway, some uh, some other news. Uh, I, I finally took the plunge. Uh, long story short, I don't want to get into too much detail, but uh, I've been a rock and roll guy my whole life. Uh, never really moving off the rock and roll thing. Uh, never liked country, which I never will. Um, just isn't for me. Respect it. I, I think it's phenomenal what they've done for music, but it's not into it. Um, and jazz is a, a genre that I'd never gotten into. I uh, just didn't understand it, didn't own any, never bothered to get any. But one of my closest friends back in high school really got heavy into jazz. And even then, even when you have somebody who's living down the street from you, who you hang out with every day, listens to jazz music, I still didn't do it. Still stuck with the rock. Um, until this week. I, I've been watching a lot of your videos, and a lot of you vinyl guys in the VC really into jazz, really passionate about it. And so I had some free dollars and I decided to use it on a jazz record. And I figured I would start with the one that probably people would suggest should be the one to start with. And that's uh, Love Supreme, John Coltrane classic. It's a repressing, it's a, it's a newer pressing. Uh, I got it at Target. I had uh, like 15 or so, 20, $23 at Target. I think it was 24 bucks. And I said, what the heck, I would give it a shot. Um, I've, I've heard of John Coltrane. I know he's one of the best sax players in the history of the world. I'm not familiar with McCoy Tyner, Jimmy Garrison, or, or Elvin Jones on drums, um, but I plan on, on getting more into this record. Uh, it's pretty cool. The inside's got the, the essay uh, about Coltrane um, that he wrote himself about the, about the record, which is kind of cool. Um, Love Supreme. Here's the back. And so I, I played it once. I think it's good background music, but I, I understand real jazz lovers don't put it on for background music. They really get into it. So I plan on getting more into this record soon. But it's my first ever jazz purchase. I'm kind of excited that I, that I have it. The first thing I did was text my friend from high school and said I finally did it 30 years later. 35. But who's counting? Uh, <clears throat> one more new one, this, this video, is... Um, one that I found unexpectedly, um, because I don't find much new stuff that I like to have at my local record store, Tunes, in Marlton and in Voorhees. Uh, but this is uh, a fleet, this is, when I say new, what I mean is new, newer vinyl, not classic, original pressed vinyl. Uh, but this is uh, an album by Fleet Foxes from about six years ago. Uh, it's called Helplessness Blues. And um, one of my daughters is really into Fleet Foxes, uh, my youngest. And... There's a song on here called Blue Spotted Tail that she's always singing. So to get this on vinyl, it's, cool. it's a great package, an amazing album art and very heavy. Uh, so I got it for a really good price and I got it. It comes with a really cool poster of uh, a, a pencil sketch of this cover. And Fleet Fox is pretty cool. If you like Simon and Garfunkel, that mellow kind of sound, it's very cool. Yes. The Lumineers, if you like that. And if you like the Lumineers, if you like Fleetwood Mac, etc. 
All right, let's get into some of the uh, classic stuff. Not, not many, just a couple this week. Uh, first is a, a, a kind of an upgrade copy of The Great Days of Future Past by the Moody Blues. Um, as I said in several videos, and as you know, uh, they are going into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uh, this week. Actually, Saturday night is the, uh, the ceremony in New York. Uh, so I've been listening to a lot of the Moody Blues, and my copy of, of this album was not very good. This one is in the shrink. I mean, it's been open and played. It's in excellent condition. Uh, it's been transferred to a better sleeve as well, so you can see it's not the original sleeve. Uh, but the cover of this is awesome. I don't have my other one handy, but, oh, yes, I'm going to in a second. Why not? Here it is. Um, I took it out of the plastic. Uh, but you can see the, the quality of the cover because it was in the shrink. Very, very distinct. This is more yellow, more aged. And I believe it's neither one's an original, but... It is kind of cool to have a better copy that's that's in better condition, considering these guys are now Hall of Famers. Uh, so not my favorite Moody's album, only maybe my fifth favorite Moody's album, but pretty cool to have that. Uh, added three albums to the Elton John collection this week. This one also in the shrink. This is Caribou. Um, I think this, this album cover is funny. El Elton always has great packages for his albums. This is not one of the better packages. Uh, just a single sleeve on the inside with a cool picture. Um, but this is when Elton was losing his hair. And he always, obviously he's since had a hair transplant. Um, but this is kind of a weird time for Elton. I know he was going through some tough times here. The Bitch's Back is on this. Um, late 70s. But still, it's cool to have for the collection. Uh, another one we got uh, this week was Empty Sky. Another, not, not, another one of his lesser albums. One of his low points of his career, really. Uh, cool gatefold there. Nice picture of Elton on the back. Empty Sky. And then the third one is my favorite that I found. I can't believe I actually found it in this good a shape. This is the debut album. Now, I never had this on vinyl, uh, the debut album from Elton John, but look at the, as uh, you can see, it is in fantastic shape. For an album that's black like this, or it's really kind of a light black, it's really, I mean, the corners are a little dinged a little bit, but look at that. I was so excited to see one in this condition for this price. I think it was, it was, it was like $4 or something. Uh, there's the, in, the gatefold. There you go. The classic Elton John band. Great picture. So yeah, I'm very happy to have that. Uh, next uh, is two albums from Billy Joel that I already own, but I bought them again because they are promo copies. This one is An Innocent Man. This is not my favorite Billy Joel album. This is not. This is my least favorite Billy Joel album. I, I don't really like it that much. Uh, considering it comes after my all-time favorite Billy Joel album. Uh, but this is a promo copy you can see there. I don't know how special that is, but it was special enough for me to pick up. The only thing that's kind of a bummer about it is that this hype sticker is stuck to the album, um, which is kind of a bummer. I'm sure it was probably on the shrink when it was first released. Now, whoever got it, put it on the cover. So, whatever. And then, and then there's the Nylon Curtain, which is probably my favorite all-time Billy Joel album. I really, really love This is his Beatles album, I call it. And you can see there the, the promo copy. It's kind of cool. So it's nice to have that. Uh, last but not least, this uh, video is uh, an album that has absolutely no significance to me whatsoever. Uh, these guys did go into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame last year. And this is Chicago. They have 32 or 31 or something studio albums. Uh, I'm not trying to collect them all. But some of them, especially the earlier ones, this is six, I believe. Right? Yeah, Chicago six. The packaging is amazing, and obviously you can't you can't feel the album um, through YouTube yet. Who knows what the future holds? But this is one of those textured covers that I love. Early on in the '70s, a lot of these bands did it. Both sides are are artwork, and really cool picture of the band on the inside. Sorry, I'm bouncing around a little bit. These are fun to show too because there's never any glare. There's never any glare on these. You can put them anyway, and the light doesn't glare them. Uh, but this is great. Chicago 6, it's, and it's also got great songs. This is uh, uh, Just You and Me and Feeling Stronger Every Day, two of my favorite early Chicago albums. Uh, Hollywood's on this in terms of two. Uh, the Peter Cetera classic is on here. This is a really, really good album, but it's, and it's, in, good, it's in good shape, too. Whoever owned it was very good to it and put it in a plastic in their sleeve, which is really cool. So, um, Chicago 6. All right, so uh, that's going to be it for this video. Anyways, um, stay tuned in the next you know, week, week and a half, two weeks. We'll give a that vinyl update. I know that um, 
there's actually people out there in the rock world who want to know what the final verdict is, so I'll be getting to that. And uh, one more final congratulatory message to the Moody Blues and the Cars, who are going into the Hall of Fame tomorrow, uh, or rather Saturday, sorry. And uh, congratulations to them. And uh, until next time, VC, Jordy out. <laughs>